show. And I'm like, this fucking show is stupid. And I pick on all the people on the show. And then Dude. next thing you know, I'm like standing out there watching. I'm like, this guy right here, manipulative. He's crazy. He's I already know right Ryan. Now. I already know Ryan and Melanie are gonna be a thing. Yeah. It's like, oh my God, Ryan's the one for me. When we did that last challenge, we totally made it. And like, we're a great team. And I think he's the one I want to marry. And then in the next episode, it's like, it's, you see the preview and she's all holding her mouth, like clutching her mouth. And she's like, I can't believe he went made out with Crystal last night. Dude, there's, there's some on there. Like there's one chick. Cause the show that she's watching now, I can't even remember what it's on Netflix, but it's basically, <clears throat> they it's put, a, I just saw the um, name. Are you the one there. or something like that? Are you the one? Yeah. Something is, like that. Are, are they the one or is he the one? So basically the one? they put like 20, you know, 10 guys, 10 girls in there and they matched them already. They have perfect matches, right? Yeah, but what, but are they they ma- don't, what are they basing these matches off of? Bullshit. Because yeah. here's the other because thing. Like, you you because, might be a perfect because match, you like, but if you're scared to go approach that type of person that's your perfect match, how would you... Like, but I'm just wondering, it doesn't matter. Are they, are they matching like... I like romantic movies. Oh my god, yeah, me too. I, I like the Patriots. Oh my god, me too. They probably have a bunch of questions. Or are they like that take, they have are to they taking like DNA and pheromones and like doing science and being well, they like, have to they answer questions honestly. And if they match up with the other person, that makes them a match, right? So the goal of the show is they have to find their match, like pick who they think their match is, and then everybody else has to pick too. And then they get to go on dates, and then they like. At the end of each episode, they get to pick one person or one group to go in and figure out if they're you the, the match. But then they have to get all 10 people matched up correctly. In like and then 10 they, episodes? Yeah, I don't know how many episodes it is yet. But in a certain amount of episodes, they have to do this. And then or what? they don't get the million dollars. Now, I, I'm assuming they're splitting it fucking 20 ways, which is 50 grand a piece. Yeah, but, that makes sense. But... Oh, so collectively, all twenty of them. But there's like dudes to, that have to like, get the right matches. There's been two dudes that are like, "Nah, I don't want, I don't want you." And the chick's like, "No, nah, we're the match." And they're like, "He's like, nah, dude, fucking no." Like I don't fucking. She's like, "No, you're just playing hard to get." Listen he's here, like, listen, he's like, listen no. here, honey. That blowjob was trash. I'm trying to get well, my the, dick. There's sucked. a Brooklyn guy, and he is <laughs> fucking nuts, bro. He's like super manipulative, and he's like saying, "He's like, this is the game you gotta play with them, bro. You can fucking you mess with their head." Like he is literally telling you the playbook of manipulation. He's admit <laughs> like he's not denying. He's like, "This is how you manipulate a fucking chick, dude." Like and you're like, what the fuck? This guy's an abuser. He's for like, sure. you gotta drag these bras through the dirt first, make them feel like they're less than you, homie. That's almost exactly <laughs> what he says. And then like one of them, he's like, yeah, I gotta. She thinks fucking I don't like her, but I do like her. That's the whole plan. And then he's like, oh, so you don't like in front of all of them? So you don't think I like you? And he like approaches her, and then he like fucking aggressively kisses her as they're fighting. I'm like, that's assault, Bubba. Like, what are you doing? You can't fucking do that. And then oh he's like, God. and then he walks off, and he's like, she's gonna follow. And then she follows him, and I'm like, fuck, I, man. I have to say, we need to stop this conversation right now, because not only do I fucking, I can't stand now those shows. Now you want to watch the show. No, I can't stand those shows. He wants it. And I already, I stood out there for like five minutes with Crystal and her mom watching it, and I was like, Jesus. And I was just like, fucking being sarcastic. It took and me 10 minutes. Bagging on it. And then now we're talking about it, wasting more of my life about these fucking I like shows the I show. can't stand. It was definitely making me laugh. But I, I like just the thought the Brooklyn that, guy, though. I, I thought the what stage. A fucking douche. He had some nice eyes, too. So he gets away with it because he's got really pretty <laughs> eyes. I'm like, damn, he's got some nice eyes. But but then the chick followed him. And then she's like crying. And he's like, that's what you wanted, bro. And I'm like, fucking dude is breaking him away. He's probably a pimp. You know, he breaks these chicks down and then builds them back up. Like he, But the Jesus. clinger chicks were cracking me up because the dude was like, no, I don't fucking like you. And then they like matched one of them up to go check and they weren't a She's match. She's like, do so. you want the money or not? Yeah, it was hilarious. We got to win the game. She's, she's like trying to convince him like, you don't understand that it's about to show we are the match. And he's like, bitch, we're not the fucking match. <laughs> <laughs> so for, you know what? Honestly, welcome to the podcast. This is the Keegs and Coda show. If you ain't been here before, I'm glad your grandmother finally told you to fucking come check us out. Welcome, bud. <laughs> so yeah, we're here Episode old, old, 54. Old, uh, COVID, COVID, COVID Coda and Kegels over Dude, here. Dude, this is the fucking COVID podcast. We finally have an insider. An insider. He's been there. He's touched the top of the mountain, my friend. <laughs> Let me tell you all about it. I was on top of the mountain with an ancient man. So what happened, dude? So for first of all, for those of you that don't know, because our schedule has been super inconsistent, <laughs> we started with a consistent schedule again. And then this guy jumped off the fucking building. 
jumped off the building. <laughs> he jumped off the building. So, I caught the COVIDs, dude. So we had the little Thanksgiving break, and then I'll let you fill in from Monday. And then I caught the uh, I caught I got my COVID on the Thanksgiving break, mm. and uh, it, you know I don't know what some people get it terrible. I'm you know sorry for anyone that loses people and you know elderly people, people mm-hmm. with a bunch of issues and stuff. Totally understandable. I wasn't worried about it to begin with, which is probably why I fucking caught it. But <laughs> um, I don't know. The worst, the worst part for me was just like the body aches, bro. Body aches like no other. Like I like you. Did you ever have like grown pains when you were a kid? Like wake up in the middle of the night with your fucking knees. Like if I did, it probably wasn't for very long because I didn't grow very much. So, <laughs> <you know. laughs> so uh, like, dude, I would wake up in the middle of the night, dude. Like my lower back, my neck and shoulders and shit were just like throbbing. Mm-hmm. Like like it felt like the inside of my joint was swelling, you know, and like it, like my knees were going to fucking blow out and like my feet, dude, that was probably the worst thing was just the aches, the body aches that I had. Yeah. It, I had a it, fever. I had it a rocked fever you for like two weeks too. Yeah. The, the yeah aches. It, was, it was about like 12 days. Yeah. 11, 12 days, something like that. But, um, I had a, I had a fever and like some headaches for like two days and that was it. And then I had like in the mornings, you know, I would cough a bunch and get all the fucking mucus and stuff out all yellow, green shit. But, mm-hmm aside from and then i lost my smell which was the fucking weirdest thing <laughs> i fucking dude i was like i had a Sniffing candle in the dog's ass i had a candle i had a candle lit in the room and i'm like man i can't smell this fucking green apple candle and then i fucking grabbed the candle and i'm like right above it like almost burning my face i'm like i can't smell it and then i figured that was you know i was like oh now i'm losing the smell i'm like fuck i hope i don't lose my taste <laughs> which i didn't i got lucky but like caleb lost his taste to get another guy that you infected. yeah i was the super spreader i fucking got like five people at work on accident sorry guys you gotta stay you gotta you gotta keep your distance man i don't think it's the distancing i think it's the touching thing especially me i sweat a lot i get clammy a lot mm. so i bet i bet it's touching surfaces and and putting fucking my liquids my bodily fluids on things yeah because i mean what wearing a mask at work i can we're not standing fucking two feet from each other, you know? So what'd you do for 12 days? Played a bunch of video games, uh, watched Netflix, all the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Except for that fucking Argue the One show, because I'm going to watch that shit. No, dude, I watched Queen's Gambit. Have you watched that yet? Uh-uh. Good show. I know, good, I know good. what one you're talking about, though. Yeah, it's like a mini series. It's like six episodes, like hour-long episodes or something. Did you watch Blown Away? Uh, I've, I've watched that, like, months and months ago. I yeah. watched that, like, earlier this year, yeah. Uh fucking forged in fire that's a good one yeah i've been watching that for a while yeah yeah but you get to the point where you're like okay we fucking start with some bullshit and then you fucking i can pick who is gonna go home and then once it gets to that point where i've watched enough of them where i can already pick who's going home before it starts i'm like all right shut it off I'm, i <clears throat> i started f his family again last night I like how when you're watching like that, Blown Away is dope too. Blown Away but is I, fucking I like how when you're sick. Watching, I was pissed when I figured out that was only there was only one, one season. season yeah. Oh, I was so mad. But like Blown Away and like Forged in Fire, like you're like, oh, what are you doing, man? That's not how you do it to man. Oh, this guy's going to fucking lose. He's going to lose his, he's going to lose because he didn't fucking forge right. Yep. I can tell the, the blade was way too red when he qu- quenched. Like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. You're just like, you're the fucking, now you know everything. So oh, you're yeah. watching the show you're for You're looking a week. at it. You're like, bro, your metal wasn't flat enough when you fucking bonded it. Like, oh, dude, you're done. There's going to the be stress. Thing. There's going to be stress fractures in your blade. Like, it's never going to make it past the chop test. And if it does, you're probably going to roll your edge. And let me tell you, at that point, you're definitely not cutting. So if it can't cut, it won't kill. <laughs> it yeah. won't kill. Did you did you see uh, uh, it? It will kill. Did you see what he says? Because uh, they had to make it like family friendly for TV. It's not kill. It's He's saying kill, which is keep everyone alive. It will keep everyone alive as like a defense mechanism, I suppose. Hmm. But yeah, dude, it I, will kill. I, I watched like the whole fucking. They only have one season on Netflix. I know that's ridiculous. It's like season six too. Where the? F- <sighs> I wonder where. I must have been watching it on like Hulu. Maybe. Because we have Hulu. As or well. like, was it a net or a YouTube thing, maybe? No, no. We, I was watching it like. <clears throat> I saw. Um, over and I think it was Hulu. Fucking, uh, fucking, uh, fucking, what's the guy? Sean Evans. Fucking Hot Ones. Oh, yeah. um, Hot Ones uh, just got the fucking big bucks, bro. They're on Hulu now. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, but it's funny. It says season one, but it's not the first season. And I think it's like a mix of like some episodes from the past like couple seasons. Well, and then they got the TV show, too. He's got a TV show where like normal people come on and and they gotta like answer oh, really? like trivia questions why he's smoking them with the fucking heaters. Oh, dude, I want to do that. Uh, yeah, we should go on it as the Keegs and Coda podcast. I'll fucking eat the heat, bro. Team, team eat Keegs and Coda. 
Fucking COVID code and Kegels, bro. Fucking COVID kill you. So, yeah. So he, he was out for 12 days, yeah. gave a bunch of people the shits. And, uh, <laughs> dude, I was the one who, I, I was the one as far as I know, like, I had to the work worst. your fucking, I worked your terminal after. Yeah. And I was like, somebody, you know what the funniest part was? Is somebody harassing me for wearing a mask <laughs> while I was working your terminal. And I was like, Douche. first of all, buddy, you're older. So, you could be one of those dummies that catches it and dies. And then like, he's trying to tell me it's propaganda. And I'm like, the guy that works this terminal. He's like, it's fake. It's a fucking hoax. Fucking got it. I like, love that. People are like, it's a hoax. I'm like, dude, no, people are getting it. Do you know somebody that got it? Yeah. I'm, I mean, like I my mean, close friend that I literally hang out with weekly. Here's the thing. My, my brother, my sister-in-law, my niece, my nephew, my mom, me, a couple of my friends, five of my coworkers. I probably, I think me, I got hit the hardest maybe at everyone I know. And that's just because I was like, I was just sleeping like 12 hours a day and I was mm-hmm. sore as fuck for no reason. Like I literally didn't get out of bed like for fucking like 10 hours. I would get up and walk to the fridge. Dude, my feet were fucking like, I couldn't put my heels down because my fucking feet were so tight. Like everything hurt. And then I would get back in fucking bed, play some video games, watch TV, pass out for like fucking three hours, wake up. And as soon as I stand up again, fucking just feet are killing me. But I think I got hit the worst. Like, yeah, Caleb had just just his taste and smell is all he lost. But he gained because he got to get through that like shitty rum he had. So like yeah. he really he won. Said he drank that shitty rum he had in his bar. He said he was, he was like, I was just an alcoholic for 10 days. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really wasn't any different except like he didn't have to worry about enjoying the alcohol that he was consuming. Yeah. That's, oh, that was or the showing only, up to work. <laughs> yeah. And he got paid. I would assume yeah. you guys all got paid. Yeah, I'm assuming so. I thought they were. I thought they were supposed to give us like eighty percent of our pay or something. Fuck but it. Caleb said we we're supposed to get all of it. I don't fucking care. I had I had time off anyway, so I'll just use whatever, whatever. supplement. Yeah. yeah. And um, Brian, uh, overweight. Like he he said he felt like he had a cold for like three well, or four days. And he he has a couple things. So like he's got two categories that put him in a high risk, and yeah. that's what we were all worried because I mean yeah. Brian and I are you know he's been my go to since I got to to the company. Yeah. And, yeah. Man, it scared me because I was like, ah, come on. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. Like, we don't need this right now yeah. at the end of 2020. But he, he didn't even get hit as hard as I did. He mm-hmm. had it for, he said, three or four days. He felt like he had a cold. Yeah. Just like stuff he knows and he just stayed in bed, you know, just fucking relax. And he got over it pretty fine. Everyone, yeah, same. Everyone was just like, yeah, I felt like I kind of had a flu or something for a couple of days. And I was like, fuck, man. I was like waking up in the middle of the night fucking having a pop of hydrocodone because my fucking shoulder pain, back pain, fucking hips. But, See, yeah. it's weird because like, so I went and got tested. First of all, it pissed me off because Friday when I went to go get tested, I couldn't get tested. So I spent three hours driving around, going to different places, calling places, nothing. Go home. We book. Uh, I went to the Cardinal Stadium Saturday morning at like eight o'clock. And so like what happens is, and this is exactly what happens. So I was getting ready to, I booked a place, right? And Crystal goes, oh no, I got you a rapid test go, you're going to book over here. So now I've already scheduled an appointment at another place, but that's a, you know, four days before I'm going to get my results. So Crystal says, I got a rapid test for you. So (sighs) now that place is locked up on a schedule because it says I'm coming, you know? So then they tell everybody, oh, we're booked today. We can't do anymore. And it's like, yeah, but I'm not showing up to the appointment. How many people did that? A lot of people did. I know a lot of people that scheduled appointments and then didn't go to that appointment, went to a different one because oh, they found a People do that with all appointments in every facet of life. But the problem is, is when you're running around right now thinking you got COVID and you need to get tested, like I have a newborn here. So I'm trying to get tested before I come home. So I know if I need to quarantine for the fucking weekend and stay away from the family. Yeah. So I come home and I can't. And so I got to hang out in here, which I, you can't see it, but I just did the floors in here, which they look very nice. Very and nice. uh, I put all the stuff back. You in the might room. be able to hear it. I yeah, don't know. You, we'll we'll tell in post production if you can. This will be the only episode you hear it on. But um, so I put everything back in this room, and I'm all excited. We're gonna do a podcast, you know. And then that happens. So then I'm I have to stay in this room for the weekend because we're all worried that I don't want to give it to everybody. Mm. So I grab the bed out of the garage. I bring it in here. I move this table to the wall and i put the bed basically like where you are so i'm in here watching the mandalorian and just chilling and yeah fuck that show's so good love it so i'm watching tv in here and super comfy and then uh about two days later you know i'm out because i got my results and i was negative so uh i come in here on like monday 
and you know, I had to move where we put the cameras over here and <laughs> over here because I had to move shit. So all the cameras were over there with lighting. So when you walked in, it looked like there was two camera angles pointed down to the bed with lights on. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck are we doing in here? Starting at OnlyFans? That's what Keegan was doing for two days in here. Yeah, man. Locked himself in here, OnlyFans. A little extra money for the Christmas holidays. <laughs> so the worst part of me having COVID was my son was born. Man, my worst while I have While I had COVID, couldn't be in the hospital, couldn't see his birth. Like that fucking was First the worst First of all, congratulations. Thing. Thank you. Congratulations! Um, healthy, Davina's healthy. That's the best. That's the most important part. He's yep. healthy. Everything's good. We're all good. Mm-hmm. You know, I waited till I had a negative test before I even met him. Before I even God. touched him, held him, met him, was in the same room as him. You know, that was my nightmare. Was for <clears throat> Zoe. Yeah, I was well, so scared. You know, it's my life. It's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it's my life. I'm living it. But uh, yeah, no, he's doing great. I was just, I was just uh, singing to him and bouncing him, chilling right before I came over here. So. He's fucking super chill baby. And it's like, it's people like with cats. Like, oh, my cat's like a dog. Like, my fucking baby's super chill, bro. (laughs) Yeah. My baby, pretty much, he could get his license right now if he wanted to. He's He's, so smart. He's really fucking cool. Really smart. Super chill. Yeah. He did. You know, the first day he was born, he was already fucking lifting his head up, laying Mm -hmm. down. Yeah. He's already trying to lift his head. He doesn't have, he's fucking, we wobble in the neck. So I I grab him. I'm like, no, don't do that. You're going to break the neck. I think they infuse these COVID babies because that's how Zoe was. And they were like, huh, she's not really supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. They, With what? I don't know. Um, extra I don't bone know. marrow? I don't know. They, something they sprayed in the air. The mosquitoes got it. A couple things. Matters how many times you got stung with a mosquito. Like, I don't know, man. You let your pool go green, you might have like super strength babies, you know? Yeah, I did. But that's- Underwater births in the fucking green pool, dude. Oh, that's the best way to make swamp things. Yeah. Dude, you're so lucky, man. Healthy boy. You got your little lady still, you know, she's all good. I know. I saw, I you saw got both little, of them. I saw a little Zoe when I walked in. I was like, man, I can't wait till he's got that chubby face and mm. like his fingers aren't all wrinkly because hers are all little sausages now, you know? Yep. Yep. Yeah. And I'm like waiting for his, his are all like spider fucking long and wrinkly, like all creepy. He's got long ass fingers and big feet already. Yeah, dude. I, I noticed that in the pic, but the pictures are always so crazy. Cause like I saw the pictures right when he was born, you sent them to me that night or mm-hmm. yeah so i see the pictures and i'm like holy fuck that's a big boy but then you send me like the stats you know with stats and i was like oh dude he's pretty much zoe size he was just a little bit longer than zoe and mm-hmm. just a little bit lighter than her but with his like fingers and his dude his arms are like past his knees bro he looks like a little monkey yeah he, he <laughs> was but in the picture he looks huge and i was like man that's what they kept saying about zoe like she looks massive and i was like dude she's tiny like she's super tiny but yeah both you guys are like yeah we're not very not big people. big people she's got a big head on her though you've like she's in the 80s she got that dome for that brain power 86 percentile i was pretty excited nice. about that yeah that's high up for uh last time Sawyer went to but the she doctor. was small on some of her the rest of her body she Sawyer was, like was Sawyer was something. tiny she was like five five pounds 15 ounces brody was six pounds eight ounces mm-hmm. and Sawyer i think was 19 inches and brody was like 20 or 21 and um Sawyer now is in the 98 percentile for her size. So like she's like the biggest kid in, or in first grade. She's fucking giant. <laughs> like everything she's in, cheer, karate and stuff, she's always like, even the kids that are like a year or two older than her and like cheer, she's like the same size as like the fucking eight, nine year olds and shit. It's weird how that works. And then sometimes they just stop. And her mom is fucking five two. Yeah, her mom is t- like Crystal is tiny and Sammy's smaller than Crystal. Yeah. Like... Which is hilarious because, like, I don't meet a lot. Like, Crystal's tiny, you know? You don't meet yeah. a lot of girls, like, too much smaller than her where, or they're, like, too small. Yeah. You know? You're like, ooh, that's like, little. Kick you break through her a fogel post. Yeah. Where, like, Sammy's about where the cutoff you get to with the cutoff, like, height and, like, size. Before because you, look you like start un- looking like, like totally undersized. But, yeah, you're too small. Yeah, we got, a, but, we got a friend like that, Riel. Shout out, Riel. She's like just the tiniest person. I'm like, you're. But you got a lot of them. But the she's, same. but she's, uh, she's proportionate. So she doesn't look like a midget or anything. Mm-hmm. She's just all tiny. Dude, there was a midget. I don't know. I, I guess say her, dude, little, her foot is like barely the size I don't know what you call them. I don't know. I don't know what they want to be called. So I don't want to keep saying the names. But uh, there was a girl that worked at, uh, was it Gilligan's? Yeah. You ever meet her? There's a couple of them. The. the there's a little Asian one that's pretty hot. There. I didn't meet the Asian one. The <laughs> little white girl, though. Like, she's like yeah. an Instagram famous, too, dude. Yeah, yeah, but, I know you're talking about. 
I don't yeah, know they would, they, I, I was they'd be out on the, Crystal, they'd be out on the take pa- her home. They'd be please? out on the patio like tub girls, like so they'd be standing on like a little fucking stool yeah. with the beer tub in front of them. They're just like they're all like dancing fun. and shit up there. I'm like, and they're like super attractive. And yeah, you're like hmm, that's Hot weird. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> you, you like you know all the crazy shit that floods your mind that you're not supposed to say. You say you're like <laughs> like I was saying it and shit, and I was like I can't stop. Oh, you were, you were buzzed it. up. You were buzzed up drinking at Gilligan's. Yeah. yeah. Oh, of course. Well, their whole their whole shtick there is um. So they got the normal bar over there, and they got all the ridiculous flair. Like the yeah. whole place is just packed with fucking knickknacks and shit. But then. By the entrance, there's the short bar over there, mm. and um, the fuck is his name? It's a little, it's a, it's a little person, midget. I don't know what to call him, midget. Um, and it's dope. a shorter bar, and he serves only like 32 ounce bottles and shit over there in tall cans. So, so that like that's, that's gonna like, look so cool. That's their little shtick. Is like they've got the shorter bar over there. <laughs> yeah, he's like the um. It's like me handing you a normal beer. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a 12 ounce to me. Yeah. Imagine him holding one of those. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> well, but you go over to his bar and you're like, I'll take the fucking tall can of Bud Light, you know? So you get the fucking 25 ounce. You love those. Yeah, dude. You love tall cans. Yeah, dude. Why not? You know? Twice as nice. So, you know, two bears, one cave tried to copy us, man. See, yeah. like, I already did that skit with Bob. I did that skit already. I mean, done. that's no, when, no, there's, when there's two when there's two people that I are guess. doing a regular thing. It's always bound to be some type of competition type thing that's going to happen at some point. But we already succeeded in this skit where they tried to succeed, and uh, Tommy Boy didn't make it so well. Like him, what did he blow his knee out? Dude, he like bent his arm the wrong way and blew his entire knee out. So he had to have his entire shoulder surgery, I think, and what? knee. Oh, dude, he's surgery? so fucked up, bro. He can't move one whole side of his body. Like his knee is completely, they had to cut him from like the top of his thigh down past his hey, knee. Jesus. And then uh, the shoulder too. That's I wild. think it was shoulder. Like he broke his arm. It might have been here. I don't know. But he broke, I guess the arm was, I was listening to the podcast with Bert and uh, Push today, his wife, yeah. uh, Tom's wife. And I wasn't going to. And then I started listening to it and I was like, ah, fuck it. They're probably going to talk about what happened. And then, yeah, the more they were talking about it, like, they're going to release the footage because they got it on camera. Yeah, of course. <sighs> Dude, I guess it's so bad. Like, so, so fucking bad. Like, Burr was telling a story, like, this guy he knows remembers three sounds in his whole life. Two of them are home runs. One's from Babe Ruth, one's from another guy. And he said, he said another thing. He's like, but the sound is really Tom's arm breaking. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, dude, I don't want to see it. I do. I I'll love that it. shit. I'll watch it. Yeah. I love that shit. I well, yeah. love watching videos of fucking people getting fucked up. People and like I and then I'll and then I'll search the internet to try to find like the aftermath. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see the one where the fucking dude is cutting the tree and it and it ha- it like breaks and swings and fucking hits him right in the face? Have you seen that one, bro? Like a fucking giant ass fucking log, like an arm of a tree. Oh yeah, swings down. I think I have seen it that. swings down and just fucking tees this dude right in the face, and the dude goes flying. And I found the aftermath video of that, and his shit is just split wide open. I think we can do something like that, but what we would have to do is create a website, and then we put it on the website. Yeah, we couldn't put it on like YouTube and we shit could like play that. the uh, or no, I don't even know if we could play the audio. No, anymore. but what we could do, we could is, watch it. So we could we do could, reaction video. We could do the opposite, and we could copy two bears in one cave. How they're doing their live. You don't need to say that. Yeah, yeah. No, we copy them and we just make our website and then we put that stuff on there, which is separate from the episodes that go on YouTube and stuff like that. We could always do like a little reaction segment too. Mm. Like Hmm. play it and you just throw some, throw a fucking. I noticed Rogan's been allowed to play a lot more stuff now that it's on Spotify. Like he's allowed Mm -hmm. to like show stuff on on the camp. I was like, oh, fuck. I wonder if that's. You know what? I did read the other. a couple of days ago, and I think it was the Israeli. He was like this, one of the Israeli like prime ministers uh, or something. Did you read that? Saying that like the, the aliens, the aliens are real. Yeah, and that the reason that they haven't shown themselves is because we're not ready. And like, yeah, I, I did read that. Trump knows, and other people know, and that basically, I'm like, what do you mean not ready? Have you not seen like how much alien shit people bo- like? Come on, dude. Yeah, and then. We were watching the show out tonight, and I was like, "This is why aliens won't come." Because these fucking these idiots, fucking dude. shows right here. You're fucking, are you the one? The aliens, like, nah, you guys aren't the one. We're not coming, bro. You guys coming, are bro. so stupid. <laughs> yeah, but here's what I got thinking about. 
Who's more fucking weird? The aliens or us? If you're just sitting on the well, moon or well, Mars hold on, hold on. doing fucking nothing, you ain't got no buildings, don't you ain't get got all, nothing don't get going all, on. Don't get all speciesist on us or whatever the fuck that word is going to be. But we're aliens to them. They're aliens to us. No, my mean- point is, is like, if, the, if his, if his comment is real right and he says like we're not ready for them and we couldn't handle it and like basically we're too fucking stupid right now to come down and yeah, like, but why, show wouldn't, why wouldn't someone why wouldn't one of them just fucking mob right down here and fucking land and be like yep they're fucking idiots and take off well they do so oh, i guess that's true yeah so my thought is just like but like who's the bigger idiot like we're down here like getting to eat like triple cheeseburgers and fucking tube fucking 60 something ounce beers and do whatever we want and you know you can get hookers in vegas and you can fucking drive fast cars wherever you want you can go to tracks you fucking yeah you could there's so many things you could do or be a fucking alien living on the moon or living on mars doing what I don't know, dude. We don't know. What are you doing? What could you be doing? What if doing? they're doing the same fucking shit, bro? What if, like, inside the fucking Mars or inside, they figured out how to, like, hollow a planet out and they're, like, partying like a motherfucker? Bro, there. that's what I'm saying. The inside of Mars is just Vegas. <sighs> like how Vegas steals how all the other... We put, don't like, know the that they're not doing and all that, that other shit. They actually stole all the stuff from Vegas. <laughs> or Vegas stole it all from Mars, maybe. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But I that's the, what are the but that's what that dude said, like that they won't come here until we get to a certain point. It's like fuck you, dude. We fuck, we ain't changing. We ain't no, changing. we're not changing. We're, we're just worse. gonna get worse. We're, yeah, we're getting worse. getting worse. Bro, come on. Like our weatherman has all the technology in the world. They say you're getting one to three inches in New England last night of snow. Them motherfuckers got thirty inches. Damn. But I mean, the weather weather people are notorious for never getting the shit How right. How you get it that wrong? I mean, n- did not you never. put the dash in the they're, wrong they're, spot? They're, they're right often, like, but it wasn't supposed to be one to three inches. It was one to three feet, like thirty inches, bro. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I saw a meme tonight, and it was like the weatherman. We're supposed to get one to three inches, and then it was like a picture of the sky, but it was that big black dude with the huge dick, and oh, yeah. he was like a cloud. But you could see it was him. And like, it was like, you're only supposed to get one to two inches. And it's like the forecast. (laughs) They got the whole hammer. Yeah, they got the whole hammer, hammer, bro. The whole hog, dude. Yeah. So welcome back, man. We haven't, you know, we missed you. We were scared you were going to die there for a minute. Oh, not me. I I died. I died, dude, thousands of times playing Call of Duty. I'll tell you that. Yeah, you played a lot of Call of Duty. I've been playing a little bit. And Rocket League, bro. Got into Rocket League. What about now. Cyberpunk? You gonna get that? I don't think our, our <clears throat> consoles can handle it. Uh, my buddy's got it, and he said it's fine. I don't really? Know. Yeah. He said he hasn't noticed anything wrong with I it. I heard PS uh, PlayStation just pulled. I know out there's the a lot. I know there's store. a lot of like metal on the fucking soundtrack, so that's kind of cool. The I mean, PlayStation Store just pulled it off of the store tonight, or either that or this morning, because like they're struggling to run it. Like they can't run it properly. I don't even know what the game is like. It's, it's like it a first like it's person like, shooter. Yeah, type. it's kind of like GTA or whatever. But like, Juicy, did you ever play like Deuce X? No. Deuce X was like you, you like augmented your body and like then you could run faster, jump higher. Like you, you did like augmentations, but you had to go like find, you know, unlock shit and get the blueprints and bring it back to the fucking. Oh, it might be. I haven't dock. played it. I mean, I just know that it looks really weird. Like I saw the dude making his avatar, and you literally get to create your penis size. I was like, that's kind of fucked up. I'm not ready. I don't think I'm all ready for that. That's a lot. Do you think that every fucking person is just putting a giant fucking dick on them? I would put a small one. Maybe you can run faster with a smaller dick. That's not in the way, bro. Yeah, like, it's like a speed thing in Call of Duty. Like, you put the little attribute to make sure you run longer and faster. (laughs) Little dick. Should, Should we see if anybody can guess who this is? I don't know who that is. I got my boots tied up. My lunch, oh, okay. my lunch packed up, my now. boots tied tight. I hope I don't, don't get, get in a fight. fight. Back, Back to school. school. Is that one of the pop little pop guys? Back to school. I have a couple of the uh, I'm trying to Silicon get the Valley guys. Oh, yeah. You can get the penguin and then uh, whoever Steve Buscemi is in there with the dude that's like putting the lipstick yeah, on. Yeah. And you can get him. I don't know why him out of all the other people in the fucking movie. Should have been Veronica Vaughn. Yeah. Like or Chris Farley, that Veronica Vaughn. You think they would make Chris Farley just as like a memorabilia throwback? There should be, yeah, there should be a Chris Farley thing from every single movie that he was in because he was the yeah. bus driver in that one. He looks a lot like his uh, 
in a van down by the river character though because he had like the didn't he have like a fucking overcoat like a suit jacket like on like a blue I think it was like a blue coat right. I don't remember I think I just said it was blue because that's what he's wearing <laughs> that movie was so great I love Billy Madison snack pack I said I want a snack pack you can either get up go to school you stay home and help me shave my armpits <laughs> oh disgusting I'm going to those school were, those are when the when when Adam Sandler's movies were fucking awesome. They're still awesome. Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore. Fucking what was his big... last one that I just watched? I don't know. He just had one on Netflix recently. I don't know if I trust your opinion on movies anymore. Oh, I love all the, the <laughs> I have a bias for him. Yeah. Did you did you watch Uncut Gems? Yeah, that was good. But see, that wasn't directed by him. He was paid as an actor in that. He was great though. Yeah, he was good. That was a good movie. I love okay. the way it ended too. All right. As a director, Happy Madison. Yeah. The wrong Missy was great. See, that's where we defer. It was it was funny, but it's so, it's just they're they're so like dumb and elementary. What? They're that just was so like they're they're funny. Like they'd they're, be funnier fifteen years ago, but you know what? I was just thinking. I just watched Little Nicky the other night. Yeah, that was a ridiculous movie. That's such a great movie, though. <laughs> it was a good movie. It's just like he goes so over the top. What's the one where he's like the fucking magnificent six or whatever, like the western one he did? Oh yeah, that was that was a weird movie. That was, was such was, a weird movie. It wasn't bad though. It was still funny. It wasn't good. It was hilarious, dude. What are you talking <laughs> it about? It was dumb as fuck. Like it everybody, was, it's, there's funny stuff. Like everybody says his worst movie is like Jack and Jill, but I laughed so fucking hard, and I was probably really I stoned stand or something. That movie, dude. Dude, the little Indian boy was making me laugh so the, hard. He definitely as, has funny things, that, but. That, that movie uh, was, bedtime stories that's a good one i love that movie yeah yeah, yeah. so <clears throat> yesterday some little girl ran into my truck i was pretty oh, pissed yeah you told me about that but she did i don't know how it didn't do any damage i don't it doesn't even make any sense bro i watched her do it like i was coming down the customer's house to walk toward the door and like she backed out of her driveway and like backed into my truck and it put a huge dent in the back of her little Kia Soul. It broke like a piece about the size of a Bic lighter off the fucking brake lens. That was it. Mm. Didn't do any damage to the truck. Didn't dent the truck. Fucking lit her shit all up. I was just, I walked out. I was like, fuck, dude. Now I got to deal with this. Well, she probably hit you right in the corner. So your the corner of your uh, bumper probably did all the damage to hers. And that's a, you know, the didn't dome even corner push shape. My, didn't even push my bumper. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I'm saying like the corner, the corner of the bumper is like the strongest part right there where it's got the fucking, the dome, bro. Yeah. Got the fucking Domed shape. Her. She got domed. <laughs> <laughs> her grandma right had Right in the trunk, up. dude. She got domed right in the trunk. Yeah, her trunk was domed. <laughs> <laughs> It was such a shitty situation. I was just like, dude, I don't, I just, end of the fucking day. I don't want to deal with this. And then when I saw there was like no damage on my shit and it was damage, I'm like, let me get your insurance just in case and uh, and your phone number because if I feel like I need some money, I'll be calling. But every <laughs> time like some dumb shit, like the last few times I got hit by a car or like the car hit me, it's a cute girl that gets out of the vehicle. Like, why you got to be a cute girl? Why can't you be some dude so I can lose my shit on you a little bit and like yell at you? You can do that to her too. They her. start crying. I don't want to deal with it. I hate Girls. crying. I'm like, get the fuck out of here with that I'm just not like shit. a mean person like that. Well, when the guy hit me with a plow truck, <laughs> I fucking freaked. You got plowed right in your trunk? Bro? Yeah, I got plowed right in my freaking bumper. Like, Tra- plowed right in the trunk, dude. Yeah, right in, right in my he dome. Tried to his he plow fucking plowed my dome, dude. Fucking. He domed my plow. <laughs> it was bullshit, dude. He came out of his driveway. There was a little bit of snow on the on the road, and he just like came down out of his driveway, pushed the snow across the street, and he did not fucking look either way when he did it. And like, it was weird because it was like one of those mornings where like some of the road was showing and some of it wasn't because the sun was like really strong and melting the the, the snow. And so we saw him like coming down out of the driveway. I'm like, oh fuck! And I I was doing like 35. I start hitting my brakes and it Nothing just was fucking happening. nothing's happening. And I'm like, oh fuck! My buddy starts getting up into the windshield and he's like, nah, you're gonna miss him. And I'm like, bro, sit back. <laughs> I'm not gonna miss him. Didn't miss him, bro. Hit the the bumper mount hit the side of his plow. So, like, I ran into the side of his plow <laughs> and fucking stopped dead in my tracks, bro. My buddy went up, smacked the windshield, fucking bounced back. <laughs> He's all stunned in the front seat. I'm like, I try to tell you to sit back, bro. Like, and then I got out of the vehicle and I started screaming at the old man. 
like, what the fuck, bro? You almost just get like, had he been like three seconds later, a second later, he'd have hit me in the door, you know, and could have really fucked me up. So I'm screaming at him. We go to the doctor, go to the hospital. All of us go in to get checked. We're all fine. Uh, settle f- with the insurance, you know, get the car fixed. They put a new bumper on it and spray it. I don't make any money off of it. Cause in New Hampshire, you don't sue people unless you get hurt. Like you don't. I think that's usually how it goes, right? No, we'll further that story. So I'm like, you know, whatever. The insurance company handles it. They say you're you're paid, whatever, get your car. So I get the final paperwork of like our law, the whatever, the insurance thing. This fucking guy owns a lumber mill. (laughs) I'm like, fuck, dude. I could have sued this guy and been like rich. Like he owns a lumber mill and you just hit me with a plow. That's a big no-no. So then I moved out here. That's still how I think. I mean, technically you hit him. Yeah, but he came out in the street and crossed two lanes when he shouldn't have been. Like, I couldn't stop. So you need to make sure. Like, you're coming out of a driveway with a plow. You don't have the right of way. I can't stop. I have the right of way. I'm on the main road. So he was in the wrong. And we weren't speeding. So, like, he fucked up. He knew it. He he can't. As soon as he got out of the vehicle, he's like, totally my fault. Like, he admitted fault immediately. You're like, here, can you uh, write that down and sign it? He admitted fault to the police officer when she showed up, which we're like trying to air the vehicle out and shit. (laughs) (laughs) So like, uh, I move out here first seven months, I get hit on a test drive. Like I got these two old ladies in the van. I pull out a air park Dodge Chrysler Jeep. I make it one dealership up the road and I stop at a light and this chick just fucking runs right into the back of me. I'm stopped at a light. I... Bounce off all the shit, dude. I'm all over the place. I get out of the vehicle. And when I go back to work, they're like, you got a lawyer, right? I'm like, what do you mean? The insurance will handle it. Like, it's the dealership's vehicle. The insurance will handle it. I was stopped at a light. I don't have to deal with nothing. They're like, bro, she'll sue you. And I was like, what are you talking about? They're like, yeah, no, no, no. You don't wait for them. You need to go get a lawyer and make sure that they start following procedure so she doesn't sue you. We're talking about the girl that hit you? Yeah. Or are we talking about the ladies in the car? No, it was a fucking lady that ran into the back of me. Like, every single person at that dealership was like, you need to go get a lawyer. I've never heard of some shit like that, bro. And so I've lived I, my whole life. And I went and got a lawyer, and they made me some money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I didn't... And I was kind of taught, you just shut the fuck up. And, and when they offer some money, you say <laughs> no. And you wait, and you get some more money. And you go to the chiropractor a hundred times. Yeah. But I, I was like, nah, just settle, man. Let me get a couple G's. Let me get like five, six G's. I got like 15, 20 grand out of it. Like we had to split it three ways. 15, 20? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it was like, it was like 17, 17,000 and I had to give like the ambulance. Because I sued, they, the insurance and the dealership didn't have to pay for like the ambulance ride and stuff. It falls on me because I'm suing the lady. So Did I had you get to, smoked pretty good? Oh, yeah, bro. I was fine at first. I sat the ladies down that were in the van with me, and I almost still sold the van. <laughs> She's like, my grandson's got an auto body shop. And I was like, well, wait till we get back, see how bad the damage is. <laughs> I almost still sold the van. But, uh, yeah, like, we're cool. We're sitting down. I went up to that lady's window, and I was like, hey, are you okay? And her husband was in the front seat, and she wouldn't look at me. It was like a little shit box, and we're in Scottsdale. And her husband's like, yeah, I fucking told her like three times to stop or slow down. And she wasn't paying attention. So like right off the bat, he incriminated her right there. Well, she rear-ended you. She's incriminated anyways. Oh, it, oh yeah. Dude. It was it was just she like. She fucking, she plowed your trunk again, bro. You yeah, keep dude, getting plowed get from behind. domed, bro. Keep getting my domed. And uh, <laughs> yeah, but when I sat down with the old ladies, like once my adrenaline stopped, I went to like turn around to talk to one of the ladies and I couldn't, like I couldn't move. And I was like. Your neck was all stiff. Yeah, I stiffened up. So then like when I laid down, they put me on a stretcher and they put the neck brace on me. And I was like, oh, wait, before I leave, take a picture of myself. And I sent it to Crystal. And then I just shut my phone off. (laughs) She was not happy with me. And they're like, you're an evil son of a bitch. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, we like to play games on each other. They're like, this might be a little further than a game. (laughs) You're in a neck brace, bro. So. uh, That's always fun, though. What what was the other thing uh, we had to talk about? You know, we have a new president supposedly now. We got got the yeah, uh, right. new elect, new vaccine. December twentieth is that when he takes? I office? think so. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Curious to see how that goes. Well, I had read an article about the group that Bill Gates is working with on this fucking vaccine, and they like 
Are they we growing fucking, bigger dicks or what, what, what's in this? It's dick vaccine. Um, no, they got a bunch of fucking people sick in India on the trial run. Make it, got a bunch of people sick and like tw- 20% of them were like hospital bedridden. People died. He's like killing people. <laughs> well, yeah, because, he tested somewhere. So my understanding of it is like the flu shot or like other vaccines, they give you a broken part of that mm-hmm. virus. So they give you a piece of the virus that's damaged and your white blood cells can easily manipulate it and figure out what to do with it and and get the antibody for it. This, they don't have that yet. They don't know how to do that yet. So they're just giving you a tiny bit of a strain of it. And they're like, yeah, it's a small amount. Your white blood cells should be able, cells should be able to take it over. And then fucking 80% of the people that take it are getting sick. You know what I mean? So the, they're not giving you like this damaged, altered version of it. That's my understanding of it anyway. I was going to say, do you have like facts on those numbers? Oh, uh, uh, no, no, no. Um, but it was something like 80% got sick, 20% mm. where it's like bedridden hospital. I mean, I'm not hospital. taking it at first. I got the antibodies, dog. I've been out there fucking licking the darts at the bar. Well, we got shit. your, I got your blood drying right now. I'm going to use it, it to sprink, sprinkle it in the coffee. Yeah, man, it'll, yeah. it'll be fine. I think you should snort it. It works better. Well, faster. I was going to, but, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to like. A little iron in the coffee? Yeah. Dude, I've been drinking so much coffee lately. It's Did probably you, not good for me. I'm sure you have. You taste the breast milk? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That shit's sweet. See, see I think it's like very irony. It's got a lot of iron. It tastes like fucking, I thought it tastes like your blood. It tastes like, it tastes like blood to me. I got it. I was, whoa, what is this shit? That's sugary. It's that, that mother's milk. This is good. This is good. <laughs> Yo, let me get an ounce of that for it. I need, I need, I did I need run some out of cream the other day. I almost used it. I was like, mm. you need crystal titty milk and you need my fucking antibody blood sprinkling your fucking coffee. Boom. Do you use that's the vaccine? Do you use your HSA to buy uh, vitamins? No. Why? You have an HSA, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know you can buy like all your vitamins and shit with that. We'll, we'll talk about it later, but I remember last year when you bought a bunch <clears> of random shit, your fucking water pick and stuff, so. I'm yeah, gonna... well, that's why uh, it blows me away that they're like, hey. Can you pay for your gym membership with it? I don't think so, but it blows me away that they can be like, hey, vitamins, these ones, D, C, zinc, these magnesium, these are things that you want to take to help prevent. Mm-hmm. And then- Here's a HSA card that we'd put like $750 on for you for the year or 500 or whatever it is. Yeah, but so many people forget to take. I mean, I was a personal trainer forever. So many people just don't take vitamins. So many, you, could, by, you could literally. I just put them by my fucking toothbrush. Bro, people will put them in the fucking cup holder of their car and fucking they'll just sit there forever. Yeah, I don't. I take mine every day. Yeah, I, I take. I've been taking one a days, twice a day. Yeah, see, I, I do that. I take two in the morning that I'm supposed to take, and then at night before I go to bed, I throw one in my mouth and just kind of... Mine tastes so fucking good. We're talking about vitamins right now. Are you interested? Do you like vitamins? Do you like vitamins? Dude, I think we showed these fucking insane kicks, but I just want to flex on the fuck people right now. <laughs> Your gray and green ones? <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro. Dakota <laughs> thought that these were gray. Hey, in, in my defense. The, the, the fucking laces were white, and I was like... Are you well, sure you tested on, on, on the shaded side over here? Because there's these bright ass lights. I don't know if you can see the reflection in my eyeballs from them. There's these extremely bright like LED lights facing me. So the shaded side of them, they do look, I still looking at them, it looks great. But then your other shoe where the light shining on it, that's clearly like a, like a powder pink. These things are fucking dope. I love them. And there's so much there. So I wear a lot of Jordan ones and these are dunks. The Jordan ones are, I love the Jordan one, but they're just a little thin sometimes, like around certain spots. So like until you break them in, they're a little rigid because they're leather. These are so fucking padded that they're just instant comfy right out of the box. And these ones are suede, so I like suede shoes. <laughs> but yeah, I bought Crystal a pair of those uh, Day of the Dead shoes to match. So those are our first matchy matchies for oh, Christmas. Yeah. I've been doing all the Does Christmas. Did you know this already or is this a insider no. secret? Insider secret. Okay. I bought like... I got her a new iPhone. I don't want to be like, hey, let me see your shoes. Can you oh, yeah. tell me about it? She hasn't seen them yet. They just haven't shipped. But I've been buying like a bunch of random shit, like a foot massager, things I can use. I need to get a fuck foot massager. hundred bucks on Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. make fucking... Dude, you know people keep telling me that I look like uh, Dum Dum. What's his name? There's so many. Amazon. 
Oh, Jeff Bezos. Bezos. Yeah, a little bit. I like see that. Like a younger version. Well, they're just, you're a bald-headed fuck is all. I know, but they said like I actually look like him. Your head is a similar shape. I don't think you actually look like him that much. But since he did, like he's in, he lost some weight and of course he's got like all the money in the world. So he's like hiring trainers and nutritionists and shit. He shouldn't have to work out with that much money. (laughs) There should be something. Well, there, I mean, there's like steroids and shit. You still have to work out with them. Now there's gotta be something for the richest man in the world. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, here's, here's the problem. You could actually like build some muscle and some, some definition by taking the right, like steroids and then using fucking electronic stimulation. There you go. And you can do like shock stimulation because it'll sit and bounce that muscle. Like and he has enough money to make. But the problem is, somebody. is you're not going to like gain strength. It's not going to be functional movement yeah. and your muscles aren't going to build like properly. I don't think like with your bone. See, and, he'll and just build a movement. suit. He's going to be that fucker that has a suit. Like He's, a Tony, like a fucking have you, have you Iron seen, Man. Have the you, claws. Have you seen the meme that fucking uh, someone's like, Jeff Bezos already has all of our addresses, and why isn't he being Santa Claus? He's he's choosing not to be Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. At this point, you're just an, a jerk. You're you not jerk. a nice guy. So, yeah, that's basically, that's that's really it. I mean, we, we got to work on some guests for the show. We have to get back to our list. Now that you're healthy, once you can breathe 100%, I'm going to whoop your ass on some of those things. I was just at a, stopped at the bar last night. Uh, Brando and I. I'm not going to win those things. I already know that. And I was fucking smoking in darts, bro. We were fucking on fire. And then me and Brandon started playing doubles against people. I got that Robin Hood gene, bro. You don't want to be throwing things at a bullseye with me. Oh, dude, let's go. Bro. Oh, speaking of, you just did that. Show me. I still got a bruise right here. I look like a heroin addict. Shout out my buddy Vic. Paramed Vic. Uh, Vic. (laughs) Vic, uh... Came, he brought me and my mama over some uh, some IVs and hooked us up while we were oh, sick. I was like, I was like, you want to wait till we don't have COVID? He's like, bro, I, I have COVID patients all the time on the ambulance. So he's like, I'm good. I'll just wear gloves and fucking mask or whatever. So he cruised over. I took two fucking bags of saline, and then he gave my mama like a lactated ringer that's got like some some uh, extra electrolytes and like potassium or some shit in it. Electrolytes are good. <laughs> it's what the plants crave. The plants crave it. Electrolytes. Yeah, he hooked us up. I took fucking two full bags, and then a couple hours later, he texted me. He's like, you pissed like 10 times already? I was like, dude, I pissed like twice. He's like, damn, you must have needed that. But he wasn't very gentle, because I've had this bruise here for like a week. (laughs) Still learning on how to get the vein right. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Dude, he lit you up good. Yeah, that was was pretty good. I've never done one of those. Like, he, oh, dude, it was fucking nice too because the bags were cold from sitting in his car. Oh, so you feel bro. Like so like, I was sitting there with my hand down at first, and my fingertips started to get a little tingly, and I was like, "It feels cold." And he's like, "Oh yeah, they're cold." He's like, "If you got a fever, it'll fucking knock your fever down right away." Like, damn, it's a good idea. And then I lifted my arm up on the chair to like use gravity to because my like f- hand felt like it was kind of swollen a little. Yeah. And uh, and like, bro, my whole like my right side of my pec and shoulder like got all nice and cool. I was like, this is fucking nice. Now I want an IV. Yeah. I don't even, I, I probably need one because I'm seriously, when I say like I drink like a pot of coffee a day, easy now. I'm going to hit up the fucking paramedic, dude. We'll do it live on the show. We'll do a show while we get IVs, bro. I'm down with that. Do the pod. Yeah, that's like can a be great our great idea. He can be our fucking paramedic guest, bro. I mean, so how do you feel about this? It's easily spread. Right? I mean, you fucking got six people. Well, you didn't technically get six people that we know of. It could have just got dominoed to them. What if I got it from them? Yeah, but you you had family members that yeah. had it. What if, they, what if I got it at work on Wednesday and brought it to fucking Thanksgiving and gave it to everybody? Like Caleb had it the whole time? Yeah, and he didn't know because he didn't really have any symptoms. Hey, f- fuck you, Caleb. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Who knows? Who knows who got it? Who knows who gave it to who? One of my buddies has been positive for like a month. I was blaming all of you guys. I was like, fuck, you're not getting me. <laughs> you're not going to catch me slipping. It's because we were all fucking making out in the back, you know? I mean, that's what you're supposed to do on the clock. At work. Yeah, at work. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like I said, dude, I'm like, I'm clammy right now. I'm always fucking like clammy, sweaty, especially at work. And like, if I touch something and fucking leave my fucking bodily fluids there and then fucking... Caleb touches the same keyboard and then he goes outside and smokes a cigarette and has his fucking fingers right on his, by his mouth after he just touched my shit, you know? Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like smoking is 
the worst because it's not just that your your lungs deal with the smoking well, all the one time. One of our but customers like you're fucking touching your mouth all the time. One of our customers shared a cigarette with somebody that was was COVID and he didn't know it but at that moment in time. And he who still shares cigarettes? It. I don't know, but whatever. I mean, I. I don't they know. were sexing. <laughs> they were, they were sexing. <laughs> Smoked this pole. Let's not lie here. We know what you did, bud. We know what you did. We bud. know what you were doing, bro. That's ridiculous. I think that you know. These I fucking think lights that, are like gnarly bright. So I did a I shoot feel like today. Half my vision over here is just like white. It's funny because you feel like these are a lot, and I did a shoot today that makes this look like fucking mild. Yeah, this is motion. mild compared to the shoot that I did at 10 o'clock this morning. You know what, though? Did they have screens in front of the lights? No, no. And they're fucking four times the size of yeah, those lights. They should and soften them with screens. And there's so it's not two fucking, of them. Because, right, well, and I have like astigmatism in my I, eye. I have, well, we have soft lights, too. But it, trust me, the first few times I did it, I was like, Jesus Christ. But so you just get used to not even, I don't even pay attention to them anymore. Yeah. I just kind of ignore it. Now, like that, I've just looked at them a few times because we were talking about them. I can't see your face very well right now, but <laughs> yeah, we got to redesign the room. Over. I pulled some of the stuff down on the wall because I was doing some stuff in here, but we're going to change some stuff up in here. Working on some your guests. Your fans, you didn't want to have the other stuff over yeah, here. Yeah, I didn't want that. to like associate it with the podcast. I wanted it to be separate. So, yeah. you know. You but know. We were, definitely, you, were you uh, fucking on the field, bro? On the grass? Well, yeah. Dude, how do you get a touchdown if you're not on the fucking field? Right, right. Yeah. I got three home run touchdowns in a row. In a row, dude. My buddy, shout out to Nate Clark. Uh, He hit that 300. I saw that. That was cool. That one, right? But check this out. The next week, bowling is what the next week and the week after, he was shooting again for 300s and he missed them in like the 10th frame both, both nights. And he didn't pick the fucking spare up. So, hey. I don't care if it was only one pin difference and it didn't make a big deal to you. To me, from the guy that taught me how to bowl and made a big ass deal about picking up spares, I'm not trying to watch that shit. Yeah, Nate, you were kind of my hero up Come until on, I heard bro, this shit. Come on, bro, follow through with that shit. Until I heard this shit. So hopefully once this COVID shit starts to calm down a little bit, I think he's going to probably come out here and maybe try to run some tournaments or at least go to put Vegas. Some, and put do some, some fingers in some balls that we can all share oh, and eat bro, fucking hit french fries. hit him with a fucking gripper. That's one, that's one thing I thought, dude, it drives me fucking nuts. Like when people like order food at the bowling alley and you get like the sampler platter and french fries and nachos, I'm like, why is it all fucking finger foods? Why and wh- is, yeah, greasy finger foods. Why do I have to touch all these things and then put my fucking fingers Rule in the fucking Rule number one bowl? of league bowling. You don't wear your goddamn shoes into the bathroom or outside. And you, when you order food, you eat with your left hand if you're a right-handed bowler. Well, yeah, you never sense. touch the fucking food with your right you, hand. You grease your ball when you hold it up in front of you. I've dropped a motherfucking ball more than once on the floor. <laughs> and when like you're going, let me tell you, all these people are throwing balls, bang, 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 you know, constantly. When you drop a ball before like the foul line, it makes a different sound, and everybody fucking stops. And when you're in a league night. Every lane is full all the yeah. way down the whole thing with people that bowl constantly. When you drop that motherfucker, they, it's like a record scratch. They all stop and look at you like... Whoa. They're like, who's this fucking dumb bitch down here? We used to have this kid that I worked with all the time, Curtis. He bowled in our, on our team in the league. And he... If this is the foul line right here, you could tell what lane Curtis was bowling on because it'd be a bunch of fucking divot marks right in front of the foul line because when he would bowl like he dropped his ball but he would bowl strikes yeah but like, it, he, like he doesn't the, release it, like it in bounce. front of him he releases it yeah, down and it, boom, he like hits the fucking ground. pounded into the ground and yeah. it like bounces over the foul line and <laughs> and it goes down and dude and it's so obnoxious to watch and hear and like that's your team like and he was like the, the goofy dude that we always fucked with at work and gave shit but he was older than us so like then we bring him to the bowling and he, he's a good bowler like he's not terrible so like, but that was terrible. Like his fucking form, and and then he would every now and then he would get one out there and not bounce it off the ground, but he would fucking like it wouldn't be a good ball. Like it was just such a bowling, such a weird sport. We used to do those tournaments where you do uh, like nine holes of golf and then you go do three games. So it's like a total. You yeah. got to do the total score or whatever. Those are fun. And Sounds you like, cool. And then you do like. Uh, my cousins would do these golf tournaments where like you'd play one hole, you could only use a five iron and then you'd play another hole. You'd have to tee off standing on a mattress 
Like they would do fucking weird shit, funky Where'd shit. Where'd you get a mattress at? You just bring a mattress to the golf course? Yeah, well, my uncle's the pro. Like they all know the owners of the course and like they would set, the, this would be a real tournament. Huh. So like it would be a funky tournament. Like yeah. then they do like a snow tournament at the end of the year that you could play a game, you know, in the snow. Good luck finding the, oh, you got to use the fucking Colored orange balls. and pink balls yep. and shit. It's fucking cool though. Like, but the, well, the here, one with you, the, the the mattress and the using the five iron and you can only use like certain club. You can only pick one club. You got to use holes. a putter for an entire hole or something, a par three. That would be hard. Um, what they do out here, which I've never done, it fucking looks awesome though, is they fucking turn some of the courses in the middle of the summer when it's like real fucking hot. They turn some of the courses oh. into the soccer fucking golf courses. So you just have a soccer ball. Mm-hmm. Fucking roll out there with a soccer ball and your fucking pair of shoes on, bro. They had some night golf out here with yeah. the glow in the dark balls. So yeah, and the like balls, the LED the, balls. Well, the the ones I saw, or I actually went and played one at um, fuck, it's over down south a little bit. I think it's like in a Cano or something. And um, they had the ball like a hole in it, and then you just had little glow sticks, and you pop them and slide them into the center of the oh, ball. The so ones like I saw, ball. you like turned them on. Like you had to do something, like you covered up a certain hole on it. And once you did that for a certain amount of time, it lit the ball up. And then like to shut it off, you would do the same thing. Mm-hmm. And the ball would glow red. And then you could go out and hit it as fucking hard as you want. And they light the course up and that's how you play. Yeah. Which I still don't understand like why they don't sell golf balls that have like the little RF chips in them like they do at top golf yeah. and then they just make an app like the company just makes an app so you can track your ball Shh. fuck it dude <laughs> i'm so done i wish people would take my goddamn ideas and make them i'm, I'm never gonna do it <laughs> I, have, I have enough of them at this point like fucking somebody hit off that shit and come buy me how dinner. do you know they don't have that already i haven't seen it they probably do look for it? they probably fucking do by now but I bet they fucking do I mean, it's a good idea. It's I get simple. It. I like it. It's simple. It's just like the uh, the idea that I had for Apple, and the only reason I didn't fucking send it to them is because they probably would have used it, and they refused to give you credit for it. And <laughs> well, that's the problem. Is we got to see. So you don't even need to make this fucking golf thing. All you need to do is fucking patent troll, and then sell the idea. You patent troll it, so you just take out like as many patents as you need to to get the point across, like. You cannot RF chip a golf ball. You can't GPS chip a golf ball. You can't use an app to track a GPS chip in a golf ball. You got to make all the different patents that cover all these different things. Mm. And then when someone goes to do it, you say, aha, I have the patent on that. They're like, well, how much do you want for it? And you're like, <laughs> if you got to ask, it's too much, baby boy. <laughs> it's going to cost you a ZJ. Yeah. Uh, the one I had for Apple. And again, like, I don't even care at this point. I hope they fucking make it. I should just send it. But it was uh, a thing called crowd mode. Because if you, when somebody steals your iPhone, first thing they do is they shut it off because you can't track the iPhone if you shut the iPhone off. So you use find my right. iPhone, doesn't work. Right. Because there's no power to it. So you turn it on and then it'll ping wherever it is. Right. But most of these fuckers are smart and they know how to do whatever they got to do once they get to that point. So my thought was when you swipe up from the bottom to hit your Wi-Fi or your flashlight <laughs> or whatever, that little screen in there, there's this this button called crowd mode and you would hit crowd mode. And what that would enable is when you shut your phone, like when you locked your phone, now if I were to grab your phone off the table and try to shut it off cause I stole it, it wouldn't let me shut it off without the passcode. Right. So you can't. Yeah. And I mean, they had things like that where they would take pictures of you when you try to do that. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen but that. F- fuck a picture. Like I would just rather it gives you a couple more minutes to at least track your phone and figure out where it's going. Because they can't shut it off and they can't unlock it now. So until they can get it to a computer to plug it in, they're not going to be able to crack your phone. But that was that was my idea. It was crowd mode. And it's a simple thing because all it would do is create the passcode before you could shut, fucking lock the phone fu- or shut the phone off. That's not even a hard thing for them to do. So there is a company that makes a smart golf ball already. And now they're in the middle of making a genius ball. And the genius ball, I haven't, I'm kind of, because I'm listening to you, but they call it the ball with the brain. And uh, I'm guessing, I haven't, I haven't read it all yet, but I'm guessing it probably tells you like the, probably has like a gyrometer and tells you like the, uh, oh, like your the velocity, G-fort, the velocity, like the pounds per square inch on like the strike. Probably tracks it all too. And like how many times you hit the ball. Yeah. 
I bet it does all those things. But yeah, they 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 made a patent on a um of course they did. a core with the stiffness and everything to where they can house electronics inside of it and still maintain the ball's density and all that good stuff. Here's the problem though. The problem with a ball like that is the only people well i mean people will buy it well this so a sleeve is usually three balls right and it's 50 bucks a sleeve it says which isn't like outrageous no that's not bad but yeah when you crank one of those over to the fence in the fucking in the neighborhood you're like fuck and i would be curious to see like how they fly compared to like a pro v right you know what i mean like what's the distance like what's the like is it affecting the ball at all Cause like if it was just the RF chip, because you could track it with your phone, like there's a bunch of fucking hacks out there that would love it. When you get into some of these courses that open up, like desert courses, like out here. Oh yeah, I've lost plenty of balls that didn't go over a fence, and I'm looking for. I'm like, how many times have you lost? Snake hole? How many times have you fucking hit a ball into the fairway, and got up over the knoll into the fairway, and there's there's no fucking ball there. Yeah. When I first started playing, I played this course back in New England called Carter Country Club. It was a nine-hole course, and I was playing playing the course. I don't remember who I was with. I might have been with Nate, and uh, I was running out of golf balls. And like at this point, I didn't really know how to play. I was really young. I was just out there hacking it up. We had got dropped off for the day, and I was on my last golf ball, and I'm hitting the golf ball, and this fucking beaver runs out of the wood beaver <laughs> swear it was either a beaver or a woodchuck i can't remember now but i remember i was like on a hill kind of and this motherfucker ran out and grabbed my ball and ran in the fucking woods and i was just like that was my last ball i had no more golf balls we were kids we were poor so like we didn't i couldn't go buy more golf balls so now i'm like walking around on the course trying well, to when find you're in the, golf. When, if you're in the fucking mid, like if you're not back at the clubhouse like on nine or something you're fucking stuck anyway. You're like, fuck, I can't get any balls now. Yeah. Th- I was literally walking around the edge of the fucking, you know, the rough and shit, trying to find a golf ball to finish. But like, I, yeah, I almost hole in one on that course one time. But yeah, that was, that was just the weirdest thing. Like what could go wrong? Went wrong. Like the beaver, like that was the answer when you always hit like this ball and you get up there and you're like, where the fuck's my golf ball? <laughs> There's a fucking beaver and he came out and he stole your goddamn golf ball, dude. I swear to God. <laughs> I've hit birds too. That shit is funny when you hit like a bird that's out there on the fucking fairway. Really? Geese. Out, out here, like we get a lot of coyotes and shit. And there's oh yeah, I there's a, there's a the little garden. there's a little course I just love working my irons on Bel Air. Mm-hmm. I like the, the name of the bar there is called Ironworks because it's like got a fucking ton of par threes. It's like you, a par the whole it's like a par fifty. You know who the cart chick is at Bel Air? Huh? Bob's wife, ex wife. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I like to play there because because it's cheaper and like it's fucking cheap. It's small. It's a par fifty nine. You can fucking work your wedges or work your irons and shit on there a lot. And um, there's like coyotes all the time there just fucking laying around in the shade, you know, there's you'll a, hit, you'll hit a ball and they'll, they'll like sit their head up and look at it. And then if you start approaching them to go get your ball, a lot of times they just get up and scatter. There's a bunch but over I've seen, here. I've seen at, like 50 uh, on that Brook. course before. I've chased them down. I, I had a hawk literally shredding a bunny apart at yeah. a tee box. Like it pulled it up into the fucking tree, like where it, you know, branched out, sat in the middle and I, it, you could hear it ripping the skin from the tee box. I was like, what the fuck is that thing doing? And I look and it's like shredding a bunny. And I was like, oh, fuck man, that, mm. those things are crazy. Yeah. Hell yeah. I was selling a car one time a prey. and uh, I'm in Scottsdale at that same dealership and we're like up against the wall. So there's like a wall here. The car's parked next to it. The customer's facing me. We're standing like next to the car and then there's a car in front of us and i see these fucking birds like flying around all crazy and then i see like the hawk kind of chasing the smaller bird Mm -hmm. and i'm like trying to pay attention to the customer because i'm trying to sell a car and then like all of a sudden the bird just like flies down tries to get away from the hawk and the hawk just fucking spears it right into the side of the car like the car in front of us (laughs) and like just fuck bam slams it into the car Gets on it, looks at me in the, like, the, we're less than 10 feet away from this bird. Stands on the bird and fucking breaks its neck. And we're just like, what the fuck? Like, the customers now are watching this with me and we're like, holy shit. And it, like, drags the thing over. And now at this point, like, I don't fucking care about the car sale anymore. I'm like, holy shit, dude. And they're like, all right, we'll have a great day. And they leave. I went over and sat there and watched that hawk rip that fucking bird apart and eat every single thing, bones and all. There was nothing left but, like, two or three feathers when that thing was done. <laughs> it ate the whole thing, like, opened its throat, fucking. And then I sat there on a tra- next to a transformer. 
like an electrical transformer. And the fucking hawk, you know, was maybe eight feet away from me. And I'm watching it and it like flies up and lands right above me on the transformer. And I'm like freaked out that this thing's going to attack me. And I got it on <laughs> film and I'm like filming it. And it's like looking down at me, chilled there for like a minute or two. And then it flew off. Nice. And I was like, that was an experience. Fucking, uh, what do they call them? Uh, like raptors, birds, mm-hmm. like hawks and shit. Fucking badass, dude. There's some some cool shit. When they start ripping, a, I've never seen one eat like that. They they eat everything. I saw one pick a frog up and uh, or like a toad out in the desert. Like one of them Sonoran toads, like the probably, big ones. Probably yeah, like the ones you get the fucking DMT, DMT off their from. back. Yeah, those are fucking crazy big. Yeah, it picked one up, and I don't know if like it was shooting the poison out or what, or it's like thought it was something else and picked it up. I was like, I don't fucking eat these things. And it just fucking dropped it from like 30, 40 feet in the air. <laughs> but it was pretty, it was like pretty far away. So I didn't like hear the thud or anything like that. Maybe it was doing it on purpose to pop it. So trying yeah. to split it open. Oh, maybe. So it didn't have to yeah, peck I at it. I, it. It definitely could have been doing that, but I didn't see it like fly back over, back down to it. But I mean, I don't know. I didn't sit there and watch forever, you know? That or it fucking secreted some of that shit in its mouth poisoned it yeah that those things we uh ran into a couple of them on the bike trail over here one night yeah because we were biking through I've, I've heard of kids that like squeeze those things and fucking dry it out and like smoke the fucking that's shit what you, that's what you do that's how you get dmt yeah yeah we were biking one night and all of a sudden like i heard something and then they jumped out of the bushes onto the bike trail dude i almost wiped out they're fucking i'm not even oh, yeah, kidding they're like bullfrog they're, they're, big old toes. they're this big around and yeah, there was like, like three or four plate. of them and we'd seen a coyote out there in the wash kind of acting weird, like rolling around, just acting stupid. And then like, as you kind of got not close to it, but like close enough to really look at it, it was super fat. I was like, that motherfucker's eating them frogs. <laughs> He's all fucked up out there. He's a coyote in the wind right now. He's just out there tripping there's it out. A, there's a place down in, I want to say Casa Grande. Down in Casa Grande, um, there's this badass golf course and hotel down there. And like the pool is shaped like a baseball bat and then the jacuzzi is the baseball. And like, so if you go up in the hotel rooms, like, and look down at it, it's like the ball and bat and shit. And they got a really nice golf course and yada, yada. But there's, it must, it's something like El Nino. Like every four years when we get those crazy monsoons and stuff, these fucking bullfrogs just fucking flood that place. Mm -hmm. Swamp, like crazy, bro. And we, we, we were there, we were in Casa Grande, uh, Whatever time of year that was, I think we were on our way down to Mexico and we just decided to stay there. I don't know if we were staying there. I was I was younger. I was probably like seven or eight years old. I don't remember if we were staying there because of the fucking bullfrogs or if I don't know what it was. But anyway, they were like swimming all over in the pool and the jacuzzi. But like we were picking them up, fucking me and one of my buddies, fucking with the skateboard, we're fucking pitching them and fucking hitting them with the skateboard like a baseball bat. <laughs> and like, dude, they were just all over the place, bro. Like, I'm not even joking, like thousands of them. I don't know why people kill frogs all the time. That's like probably one of the most common killed things by people that they just think that it's not a big deal. Like we used to just pick frogs up too when we were kids and just throw them as hard as you could at a tree. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> that shit was not uncommon and a fucking lot of people did it. Snakes too. You grab a snake and you just fucking snap it like a whip mm-hmm. and kill it. Like we used to do that shit all the time too or whack the head off a tree and I just blew throw up a it. bunch of stuff down in Mexico. I caught a red racer and like a crab. And something and i i put a fucking big old like popcorn bowl over it and threw a fucking m80 in there fucking boom blew that shit up it blew the fucking bowl open fucking shit shot everywhere <laughs> yeah i mean it, it makes sense you know it's a frogs are annoying as fuck that noise you hear at the end of the night chirping it's either crickets or a frog and i stomp every fucking cricket i see <laughs> so like you oh, one of them black ones oh them motherfuckers let me make the noise <laughs> I just want to kill them. That and the cicadas out cicadas, here. We get yeah. the cicadas out here. Them Which cicadas are, there was another name for them, right? I don't know the other name, but them, I hate those fucking things. They're so annoying. Yeah. We got one in well, our house. My right left ear rings all the time, so fuck, it doesn't really bother me that much. You know what? We're at the two-year mark, and actually, this should be a great little PSA. If you're not feeling well, obviously, everybody's telling you right now, stay home, you know, don't go out, but... To further that point, if you're not feeling well, obviously not just COVID symptoms. If you are like your ears bothering you or shit like that, don't wait. Don't fucking wait it out. Don't think, ah, heal up. This shit will pass. 
Cause just go to the doctor. Let them give well, them give g- you some antibiotics. Gen- or general something. stuff, but like with my fucking ear, like that tinnitus. There's nothing you can do for it. No, but like my tinnitus. So like I I have a forty percent hearing loss in my left ear, and it's constantly it feels like it's plugged. That came from me having an ear infection and not going to the doctor. Oh yeah, yeah. And I refuse to go to the doctor. And Mine's from just with excessive insurance. Playing drums and guitars and bands yeah, no, and fucking mine rooms and concerts and fucking an shooting guns without a fucking ear protection. Don't ever do that shit. Well, what happened for me was, is like, people were here. It was the holiday time. I'd already had it for about a week and I figured it'd go away and I wasn't really worried about it. And then, like, the family came and we went to fucking basketball games and concerts and we did everything that you shouldn't do when your ear's bothering you. I fucking did it. I went to everything. And then finally, at like the third week, I was really bogging me down. Dude, I had an infection in my ear and I was just trying to fight it. And one of our customers was like, stopped me on a job site and was like, go leave. Like, kicked me off his job site and made me go to the hospital. And I went to the doctor and they checked it out and I was super fucked up. And now I have a 40% hearing loss. I hear a ringing all the time in my ear. Oh, dude, my ring is so fucking And it high. could have easily been prevented by going to the doctor the first week that it was there. Yeah, taking care and, of that And infection. just getting some antibiotics. So if you're having an issue with something, please go get it checked out. Um, on another a PSA brought to you by Keegan. That's a PSA, man. If you want to hear it for the rest of your life, because that shit fucked me up and it devastated me for like, I was depressed for a while too. It was not fun. Um, yeah, my shit rings all the fucking time. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm like, how the fuck was I sleeping? That's how I woke up and found out I had it. It sounded like somebody was over the top of me with a ringing, dev- like yeah. the highest pitch ring over the top of my ear. And I sat up in bed and it was pitch dark. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And so, then I just lost my hearing. Yeah, mine sounds like when you take those hearing tests and it has like the real faint and then it gets louder and louder. Mm-hmm. It's like one of those mid. You ever get that it's all, when it's like a Oh, dude, I've gotten dizzy before. It's yeah. all, it goes, it'll be like, and like all of a sudden I'm like, oh, uh, I like almost, tip your like head almost, back a little bit. I've yeah. like almost fallen over before. I'm like, that oh. happened to me about a month ago playing golf with my dad. And when it happened, I was driving the cart and I like did one of those and I was trying to shake it off. And he's like, you good? And I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shit was moving. And I was like, fuck, dude, that one, like, please don't happen again. Not when I'm driving. Like, that was, <laughs> it just, you know, like the wind and I like just turned the right way and it yep. fucking rocked me, dude. But yeah, or so like a, I'll go hear, get checked. Don't there'll be like, a, I'll you. hear like a pitch of something, like not, not music. I don't know if it happens with music really, unless it's like really loud, but like something like a fucking car will fucking smash the brakes and fucking slide next to me or something. All of a sudden it'll be all in my ear and I'm like, God damn it. It just triggered it. My, mine's more some, of a swollen sometimes situation. it's like sometimes it's pretty faint sometimes i, I forget about it a lot like quite often i'll forget oh, about it you think about doing, it. yeah and right now like that's all i'm fucking hearing because mm-hmm. we're talking about it but like that's why i gotta sleep with fucking noise like i have the tower fan on i have my fan overhead fan on and sometimes like if it's too bad and i can't fucking sleep because i'm just concentrating on it i'll turn like the fucking bathroom He'll turn fan on nickelback on. that'll drown out anything yeah <laughs> Look at this phonograph in my ear always reminds me that I'm really deaf. Who is that? That's Creed, right? Who um, I really am. I, th- yes. I think that's it Nickelback. Is, it is maybe Nickelback. This is not, it's, not, it's not Creed. Either way. I really am. <laughs> <laughs> so, shout shit. out to India. They're having another baby. The whole country. That's cool. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. That was cool. Yep. And uh, unfortunately, they just, Randy just that's what I was lost his dad. Yep. And um, we send our condolences to the family out there and especially to Rand. Like, buddy, we love you to death, man. And we're sorry that you have to go through this. You know, um, there's never, there, you don't have something to say for shit like that. Oh, you yeah. just, you can't. There's nothing you can't say to comfort send somebody. Our, we send our condolences and I hope you get through it the best that you can. Uh, congratulations though on, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to tell what the sex is, but I know what the sex is. So I think by the excitement, I think I know what it might be. You don't. You don't. I don't know. You're right. You're correct. I don't know. You don't know. I have a hypothesis though. It's not a boy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a girl either. 
Oh, it's one of them. They're having a puppy. They're having a puppy. <laughs> It's also a not huge a boy or a girl. poop. So, no, nah, she's uh, very excited, and uh, Layla's excited, so we're happy to add another one to the family. You know, they don't let me have anything for very long. The family <laughs> never does. Like, I'm the one with the new baby right now. I'm so excited, and they're like, hey, take well, there's that shit. This, how, how far along is she? I don't know. Probably like four months. Oh, really? She's like halfway halfway to the fucking show. Probably maybe three months, four months. Yeah. I've known for a little while now. Yeah. And they I, just announced it. So typically you don't announce until first trimester's over, right? I don't know. I don't remember what the rule was. I think it's first trimester. Fuck yeah. rules, bro. Well, I found out the reason for the rule the last time. That's, if you lose it, yeah. Yeah, it's fucking miserable. Mm-hmm. So, um, and and that's another PSA, like. That should be talked about more when you lose a baby so that it's not such a crippling thing for the fucking woman. Jesus Christ. Dude. Yeah. It just destroys them for months. No, imagine, years. imagine imagine if you had the kid and then you lost it like three months, three months old. It's scary, man. That shit can be Having crippling Having a baby too. is definitely a, like when you go to give them their shots the first time and you're like, this is my pure little child. Oh, Brody didn't even cry just on his first fucking checkup. But like when you have to give those, get those shots, you like going in, you're like, my baby is pure right now. None of that shit. Like you don't know what they're putting in there. Like, you know what they say is in there, but like, you don't fucking know. 80% of them are sick. 20% in the hospital. (laughs) (laughs) I'm worried, bro. Like, you know, so there's another thing I read and I don't know how long ago this was when Bill Gates was working on a polio vaccine in Sudan and he gave all these little kids polio and killed a bunch of fucking little kids, bro. What the fuck? I mean, you know, Michael Jordan got cut from the basketball team, you know, in high school. And went on to be the greatest basketball player <laughs> that we've ever seen. Yeah, but also he's a played basketball. You got to fail sometime to succeed. Is what I'm <laughs> or saying. Or just stick with computers, bro. You got all the money. Just chill. Well, maybe you're bored. Maybe maybe he didn't actually do that shit. Maybe he stole those ideas, and now he's like, "Fuck, no, I, I got to come up own. with exactly." I got to pay all these people to kill all these people. And then if you got <laughs> the money, it's like, well, those people didn't really matter because of the greater good. Yeah, I mean, seriously, that's what they they yeah. do. And yeah, I mean, you got to tr- you got to tr- test it on somebody. And like, apparently, it's India and Sudan. At the, at the end of the day, like, if if twenty thousand people die right from this vaccine, twenty thousand. But you save millions. But no one ever gets COVID again. I don't know. Like, how many people did the disease kill in one year? Over 200,000? Something. I don't 300,000? So if you lost 20,000 people and we never had to lose anybody again. I mean, my mom's 60 it. with a... Or, yeah, my mom's 60 with a fucking liver... With an autoimmune disease that affects her liver. She got it. And she fucking handled it better than I did. I was all fucking laying in bed. All, uh, I'm like, I'm still sore, bro. My fucking legs hurt. That's why I'm hurt. curious to see what your blood type is. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Because I want to know. I'll, if, I'll go. I'm gonna go donate some antibodies soon. I'm sure. So. Yeah, I want some. Yeah. Can I have some? Yeah, I'll hook you up. To, I thought you were putting in your coffee. Oh yeah, we, it's still drying. It's still drying with the beef jerky. <laughs> and the DMT on the glass next yeah, to it. Yeah, it's right next <laughs> to the frog juice. So uh, I don't know. I mean. I think we got it. We got it pretty locked in. I guess it's our f- first one back from COVID. We don't want yeah. him to be short of breath. We the don't old, want him to lose the his old COVID vacation. You know, I, I was a little bit short of breath, and I was worried coming in here. I was like, driving here, and I said, like, turned up some music, and I was kind of singing to like get up, get my lungs going and stuff. But mm. yeah, yeah. You said it's tough to breathe all the way in sometimes. Well, that, the only thing I could like make myself cough because I'd force a breath in, and it would like hurt. Mm-hmm. And I would cough a little bit. But other than that, like... What I about Mike? I heard Mike got it pretty bad. Yeah, I don't know. No clue. I think he died. <laughs> I haven't heard from him. Probably a bad joke until he gets better, right? <laughs> Not a good joke. We'll wait to put this out Not until he comes tasteful. back. Yeah, we'll wait till he comes back before we put this episode out. <laughs> in case I got to chop should, this. I'd imagine he should be back soon. Yeah, I was just... You know what's funny? When I went to do the test, so I did the, um, I did the spit test. Yeah. I don't know if you've done that one. No. So... I they just give shove you, the fucking thing in my nose. No, nah, they give me the tube with a straw, and you got to spit in through the straw. Through the straw into the tube? Into the tube. Yeah. So, you know how hard it is to spit on demand when they ask you to? I don't know. I don't think it's Because like, I could fill that fucking can up right now with spit. 
unless they were like, here's your COVID test. You need to spit through this fucking straw. So I'm in the vehicle in the parking lot of the Cardinal Stadium. You just got to get like one, like just you a little gotta bit You got to get like, yeah, like this. Or they have like a line this you much. Get yeah, exactly. So I'm like trying to spit and I got no spit. So I'm like, what the fuck do I do? So I put on some music and I'm like rapping with music because I was like, well, this will get spit in your mouth right here. So I'm like <laughs> rapping and like people are like looking at me in my car and I'm like going ham, like going off. Bah, 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 You're like, bah. fuck you too, bitch. Call the cops. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you too, bitch. Call the cops. Bah, 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 bah. All right, we're good. And I like drove up and gave him the shit and I got out of there. Well, when I did my 23 and me, you got to fill a little fucking vial. And there's lying on that too. And it's it's like an excessive amount of spit. So we were just sitting there watching TV and you're like. What do you think they would have done if I threw in like a snus and then filled that bitch up real quick? A little minty. <laughs> your insurance rates probably would have went up. They're like, <laughs> yeah, you didn't test positive for COVID, but you're definitely positive for spearmint. We don't know why. Nicotine and, and spearmint. Nicotine that like excessive amounts of nicotine yeah. and tobacco. I thought about going to pick up one of those smoke sticks to smoke the other day. The old Just, Nick stick? Yeah, because I was like, man, I haven't smoked in a while. I bet I'd get really fucked up on one of those things. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't do it. Last night. Um, playing darts and at the bar and stuff like it's like the first you time you smoked a cigarette first time yeah and I just Why fucking I smoked a cigarette and I was all fucking super fucking lightheaded I was like oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about oh. cigarette will get you after a couple beers man hit oh, that man. cigarette and get fucking... you like, get you spinning what's the best one though camel crush yeah that's what I did yeah I get the I get the camel crush like the it's already menthol, and then you'd fucking super menthol super it. Super menthol? Bro, like two Holy toothpaste. smokes, bro. That's what I'm saying. I was like, this is fucking tense. It's like you blinked and like we're dressed in a Newport clothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was pretty intense. Well, now that you're almost healed up, we got our breaks coming up here pretty soon, so we have a couple days. Yeah. So hopefully like by next weekend, we Ooh, should be able yeah. to go fill a couple... Uh, or those little things. I still have the paper in the other room. So we'll pick a couple and then we'll go do, uh, we should do batting cages too. I don't know if we wrote that down in there, but no, I have an urge. I'm fucking, I don't even know if half these places would be open to do this shit. Yeah, I don't know either. We'll figure it out. Bring your own bat. <laughs> be my hobby. Hey, are we going to like, can we make it like we have to be like buzzing to do this? Well, I'm not going to do it sober. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I mean, Basketball, we might have to do sober though. That's a little too much. <laughs> I mean... It's only an advantage for me because you're going to die quicker in oh, that yeah. situation. That See, guy, but before, I'm up before like we, before we do pounds right now. I've been eating a lot of before cookies. Before we like race or do basketball and shit, I definitely got to get my fucking lungs back under me, you know? Well, we can start slow. We'll start with the easy shit. Even if I didn't get affected lung damage from the COVID, I fucking was in bed for like 10 days. So I didn't even move. <laughs> yeah, that must have been kind of nice. Other than you felt like shit. Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't. It was not a COVIDcation. I think it's like after day two, you're fucking done. Like, all right, I can only play Call of Duty for so much and enjoy it. Like, after nah, some I was I it. was pretty good for about four to five days, and then I was like, all right, I watched like a, I watched I blasted through so many shows. Utopia, I finished that. It's good, right? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, liked it. I was digging it. Finished all that. Fucking finished. Queens, I like the way they filmed that. Queen's, Queen's Gambit. Gambit. We'll uh, I caught out. up on Mandalorian season two. Watched a couple movies. You know what? There might be an episode out right now. Mandalorian? Uh, like an hour. Do they drop it on East Coast time? Mm-hmm. Nice. Watch but I'll wait. Home. I'll wait till tomorrow to watch it. Yeah, I probably will too. When I get home, Zoe and I bop in front of the TV and watch it. You say bop? Yeah, we bop. Bopping? Yeah. And bop. her boppy? Yeah. And it's funny because like, I thought that you do two seasons of a show that everybody fucking loves and then you finally released the name of the fucking creature everybody loves nobody talking about it did they release the name yeah have you not seen that episode yet which episode are you caught up is it the most recent one with bill burn no it was two episodes ago maybe i fucking missed it maybe i fell asleep because it's when it's when the chick the jedi chick uh what's her name uh sakotano yeah yeah yeah. that that episode is that her name her name his name's grogu grogu and every time he's like grogu and he's like huh (laughs) <laughs> he like looks at him, but I was like, dude, how come that didn't? That why? How is that not a bigger deal? Like, I actually, have an episode I still need to watch. The 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 one with Bill Burr. The new one's really good. Yeah, this whole season's been fucking lit, bro. Both the very first year. episode was like, what well, it was like almost an hour long. It was like forty seven minutes long. Yeah, but the last episode was short. I bet you. T- well, tonight's the f- the one that's coming out tonight is the, is it finale. the finale. 
And that one's probably going to be an hour long, too. <laughs> They're getting the kid back tonight. They're getting the kid back. That fucking show is good. It's a good show. and uh, But that first episode was like its own little side quest story, you know, like the yeah. fucking big worm thing. Yeah. He's like helping them with it. And that was kind of cool because that was like its own little short movie. But that set up for you to see. Uh, oh, my God. The other Mandalorian. What the fuck? Yeah, Why Boba am I? Fett. Boba. Yeah. That was kind of setting that up because he was in that. Like he was one of those dudes that was walking around. And they showed his weapon. Yeah. Like they showed him. So that dude, that show is definitely great. Crystal finally started watching it, mm-hmm. and uh, she's like, "I just said fuck it and started watching them." You know, I watched it all without her. And in the last two well, episodes, so, she's watching. It, she's like, "This is really good." And I was like, "I fucking been trying to tell you it's good." Well, and I've told people too because they're like, ah, "I'm not really into Star Wars." I'm like, "You don't have to be." No, it's so just check it out. Standalone that. Yeah. When it's own series. I mean, they're tying. They're they're tying. Well, it like in. the fucking Sakatano chick or whatever. She, the only thing she's ever been in was the cartoons, the, the Clone Wars. Clone Wars. Mm-hmm. But she had yellow lightsabers. I'm pretty sure in that. No, she had white ones. Did she? Mm-hmm. I thought they were yellow. But like, she was like the most badass. At one point, came out and just fucking wrecked shit. Yeah, and then she left. She left the order. I watched the whole thing on it. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm not. A, I I don't follow enough of it to know. So yeah. I have to watch these like breakdowns i love those fucking stupid breakdowns like we're gonna get it's like fucking it's like tv show for dummies <laughs> yeah kind of but they break down like easter eggs things that you missed or yeah. what that ties to and how this ties to a comic and like yeah. i like to see the history of it but i think uh we're supposed to get a trailer by the end of the year for the new spider-man that's going to be multiverse so it's going to have all three toby mcguire andrew garfield and tom holland in the movie and uh I don't know if they're doing a Miles Morales in the movie yeah, yet. Yeah. I don't know yet, but they might. Isn't and if they do, be, uh... it's supposed to be the kid from Stranger Things, I heard. Oh, is it? But I don't know. I, I have no idea. I know uh, Donald Glover was trying to do it. Yeah, but he's too old. I guess. No, because what, what it would be, no, because if you follow that, Donald, it, it's actually Donald Glover's nephew oh, okay. in the comic that the Donald Glover's person that he played in the Spider-Man, like the second one or first one, whatever, when he's trying to buy the weapons off of, he's buying the weapon off of uh, Michael Keaton's guys. And then Spider-Man comes down and like interrupts it. And he ends up talking to uh, Donald Glover, but his nephew, I think in the comics ends up being Miles Morales. See, I watched these fucking breakdowns, Man. dude, and like that dude's name in the comics was this other guy, and blah blah blah. blah well, he blah. did the voice of the animated fucking multiverse, Miles Morales. Oh, did he? Yeah, we're talking about Childish Gambino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good movie too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was the voice. Yeah, it was a really good movie. Mm-hmm. I liked that. The you animation know, was really cool too. Like they we, did a really good job on it. We watched uh, <sighs> Ralph breaks the internet. Wreck mm-hmm. It Ralph. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the new one? Yeah. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Fucking kick ass. Wreck Ralph. Fucking kick I didn't, ass. I never watched Wreck Ralph, so I got to go back never, and watch Wreck Ralph. Oh, you didn't watch the first one? No. The first one was kick ass, dude. I just put it on because I was trying to distract my daughter because she was mm-hmm. getting pissy. Bright colors on the TV and shit. Yeah. yeah. Coco. We watched Coco the other day. Sawyer night. loves Coco. Holy shit. Well, Sawyer was on a Coco kick for a while. Bro, I, I teared up. Really? I did. I teared up. But then I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Sawyer, there was a, there was for a while there, Sawyer wanted to watch that shit every single day. I'm like, all right, it's been eight days. Let's, let's pick a different movie. It's Something else. Moana. Mm-hmm. We were on a Moana kick. There's a Frozen kick. Um, right now, she's on Fuller House. She's watched the Fuller House, the new one. She's watched the entire season like four or five times. Did you show her the old ones yet? No, because they weren't on Netflix, and I didn't look on Hulu yet. I just honestly didn't care. I was like, we're not watching fucking Fuller House anymore. You've already seen it like four or five times the whole season. She just leaves it on and watches it, and she's like, I'm at the part right now where so-and-so's pregnant, and they named the kid this, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like... I do like that she's actually watching stuff other than cartoons now. Like she's expanding a little bit and mm-hmm. she's starting to watch other things. And like, dude, she used to like watch like Walking Dead and stuff with yeah. me. And she'd be like, that's cool. She'd be like, and then <laughs> I don't remember what I watched. It was a random movie I found. I can't remember. But there was like a lot of fucking like blood and shit in it. And she's asked before, like, can we watch that movie again? Where like the guy like almost gets killed and then it was all bloody and blah, blah, blah. I'm like. If I could remember what it was, we could, but I don't remember. It was a movie, though. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to get to that part where I'm like, yeah, you're going to like all the shows that I like. And she's going to be like, no, we're going to watch this. And I'm like, okay, yeah, we're going to watch that. 
Like I'm I played, watch my I, little ponies. I played Piano Man like 15 times this morning. I told you like there's like, an excessive as as that, amount of harmonic kind of Piano Man song. Bro, silences her. Yeah. Instantly. It's the only song that'll do it. And I mean, she can be having a fit and you hit that fucking button and the beginning plays and she just stops and just looks over and then she's <laughs> silent for the song. And it's, it's worked since she was like two weeks old. I made a playlist like with songs that we dance to and do that stuff for. And that was, she was on a Billy Joel playlist kick because of the boys. Cause I started listening to Billy Joel for, cause of the fucking boys. I got sucked into listening yeah. to some Billy Joel. And then she, I noticed she really like, that song was like something about it. And so I put it at the top of the list this morning. She didn't want to go back to sleep at like six. I was like, mm, I'm going back to fucking sleep so I can go take a shower and I can get all my shit done. Dude, I put that shit on repeat out cold. Yeah. Left it on nice. repeat, played like 15 times. I'm get Billy Joel is getting a check from me this year. <laughs> and that's all I'm saying. That motherfucker getting some streaming money from me. Um, Brody is still alive? the easiest. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I think so. Right? Wait, I'm thinking of Billy Idol. I think, I think Billy, Billy Idol. Jo- I think Billy Joel's still alive. One of them is on the new uh, fucking what's her face Miley Cyrus album. Probably Billy Idol. I listened through it. I think it is Billy Idol. That's why I stopped. Billy myself. Idol's a pimp. Miley, also, Miley Cyrus is a pimp too. Also in Wedding Singer. Yeah. You shut your mouth, Billy Idol. <laughs> I love when people call somebody by their full name. Don't fucking do it to me, though. I don't like that shit. Did you just use my government name? <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. How long do you think we've been going? I don't know. I'm ready to fucking call it. You know, I was realizing the reason those lights are bothering me so much is because I was out a little bit late. Or I was up late. I wasn't out that late. But I went and played some darts and hung out with Brandon. And then, really? Uh, How did we go an hour and a half already? I was up late. And I think my eyes are dry, which yeah. is why these fucking lights are bothering me. I got some stuff if you want. Some stuff. All right. Well, let's end it. Episode 54. Thanks for all our listeners and everybody that pays attention to it. Somebody that commented talking shit to Rich on uh, YouTube, by the way, too. You should go look at that. To Rich? Yeah. Oh, you said Rich. I meant to do the shh, but like I kept my... Someone, someone was talking shit? Yeah. Said he had like a micro penis, and that's why... He walks around with a lack of confidence or some shit. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I'm guessing they know him. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I got to look at that. It's yeah, hilarious. it's on there. It's on YouTube on the on well, I mean, audio. He's, he's got to get used to fucking eating those comments if like that's what's going to happen because yeah, yeah. he's trying to put himself out there. you know. Yeah, but anybody that watched that episode, you know, thanks for Rish for coming over. Um Working pictures, on some new guests, trying the, to figure out. The pictures were amazing. Uh, anybody that watched it saw them. Like, dude, they, they set up some amazing bars out there in India. Yeah, just out there. gorgeous, dude. Those things were beautiful. And and anybody that watched it got to see that picture of Dakota back when he was a third of the size that he is right now. <laughs> I'm like, I was was it where, where, I haven't seen it yet. Is it where we're standing behind the bar, like wearing there's, like these jerseys, kind of? There's that one, and then there's another one of you two. There's two, yeah. but you had the mohawk. Which was funny. It was only fitting that you had the mohawk in the episode that we did. It was a faux hawk. Faux hawk. Not a real mohawk. It's a fake hawk. Yeah. But fake hawk. Y'all saw it. Y'all, if y'all watched it, y'all saw Dakota. And you've seen where he was and where he's at now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, thank you for watching another episode of the Keeks and Coda podcast. Tell your grandmother to tell her best friend to call us back. And we'll see you next Out. week. Go fuck yourselves. Fuck yourselves.